In this problem, we have a column that has a weight pushing down on it. We're told this column has an area of 23 square centimeters. It has a weight pushing down on it of 67,000 newtons. It has a Young's modulus of 6.0 times 10 to the 10 pascals and a compressive strength of 2.0 times 10 to the 8 pascals. So what we're asked for first, A, is what is the stress in the column? Stress is equal to force divided by area. So the force pushing down on the column divided by the area that it's dispersed over. That's the stress. The force that's pushing down is equal to this weight, which is 67,000 newtons, divided by the area of the column. And the area is in centimeters squared, so we're going to convert this to meters squared. To do that, we can either do our unit conversion, or we can just look at the centimeters. If we, we know that there's 100 centimeters per meter, and we have this is squared. So basically what I do is just square the centa. This is times 10 to the minus 2. So this whole thing becomes times 10 to the minus 4. Normally for just centimeters to meters, we move the decimal place 2. But since it's squared, we're going to move it 2 times 2, 4. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's point zero zero two three meters squared. That's converting from centimeters squared to meters squared. So we plug this number in for the area. Point zero zero two three square meters. And we'll have this a stress of sixty seven thousand divided by that gives us two point nine times 10 to the 7 pascals. Newton per meter squared is a pascal. So that is the answer for A. Now B asks us, what is the strain in the column? Now we know that stress is equal to the Young's modulus times the strain. So to get the strain, we just have to divide the stress by the Young's modulus. So strain the dividing that over gives us stress divided by the Young's modulus. Stress of 2.9 10, 10 to the 7 pascals divided by our Young's modulus of 6.0 times 10 to the 10 pascals. gives us a strain of 4.9 times 10 to the minus 4. Now I am rounding to two significant digits because that's what we have for our problem. This is the answer for B. Okay. C asks us what is the maximum weight that our column can support? Okay. We're told that our compressive strength is 2.0 times 10 to the 8th pas pascals. So this is the maximum load, uh, the maximum stress that we're going to be able to take. So if we say that stress equals force divided by area, we know our area, we're saying this is the maximum stress that we can take and that will tell us what our maximum weight is. So if we just say F equals multiply A, A times stress, okay, our area is 0 0.0023 meters squared, 0 0.0023 meters squared, we're going to multiply that by our compressive strength, which is 2.0 times 10 to the 8 pascals, 2.0 times 10 to the 8 pascals, Really running out of room. So the maximum weight that this thing can be, when we multiply that together, is 460 kilonewtons. So that's our final answer for the max weight that we can support.